Hi guys, um, today I want to show you a few things. I want to show you how to make this uh, navigation uh, that scrolls up and down. Then I want to show you how to make a sticky um, social bar. And I want to show you how to make a fixed background image. So let's get to work. I'll go to my code, I'll switch to my uh, blank uh, browser, then I'll go to my code editor. In the code editor, uh, I already have some code for HTML. I uh, have uh, uh, the title, I've linked to CSS, actually today I'll be using using SCSS, I've linked to JavaScript file, I'll be using um, fun awesome icons and fonts from Google. So if you don't know, um, you can actually use icons from font awesome. awesome. All you need to do, go to font awesome, um, start using free. Unless you want to pay, then start using Pro. Copy this code and then start uh, searching for icons that you want on your website. There are a lot of free great icons, uh, so you can really find something for yourself. Then uh, Google Fonts. Just go to Google Fonts. And um, you see, there are a lot of uh, fonts that you can uh, implement while uh, styling your text or headings. Then you can uh, click or unclick um, to actually specify exactly, let's say you want handwritten. So here you will have um, the option to choose all the possible, you know, fonts for handwritten uh, uh, style. Uh, so let's say you want to use this one click here then there is um, a link copy this link paste it into your code editor into the head and then when you go uh, to CSS and style some particular element choose um, this code right here so I'm going to my code editor um, first thing I need to create a nav bar. I actually do have two nav bars, the top one and the bottom one. Okay, uh, so I create a div. Class Um, container inside of this uh, div I'll have another div this time I will use an ID and um, I will call it navbar inside here I'll have another div And that will be class top nav. Inside here, um, I will have another div for my logo. Class logo. And here I'll have an image that I want to use for my logo. And uh, that will be, uh, so in my folder I have logo image. I will save preview. 
So that's the image that I found uh, online and I will be using it today. Okay. So in my top nav um, div, inside here, I'll have another div. which will be called class UL div. And here I will have an ordered list. And um, I will give it a class name as well. navbar ul1 and so here I will have um, eventually it will be linked to somewhere so I will I will use a um, but because I'm not linking it right now I'll use hash and um, when you on my website that's what I will be working on first so I will have a text a explore a season um, h5 explore a season okay and then I will have um, a number of icons as you see right here so I will have one two three four icons and then this one right here So I got this from uh, uh, Font Awesome, and uh, you know what? I will just um, paste it, paste it in. Um, I will do first one. In f when you go to Font Awesome, let's say you want to use this icon right here. Just click on the icon, and here uh, at the top you see a code. Click on it, and once you clicked. It means that you have copied it and then you can go to your editor and paste it in as simple as that but um, I'm not going to use this one so I will use the ones which I have already saved I will save preview and you see that's already here on my page now I will do the lower navbar. I'll have a div with a class name lower nav. Here I will have an ordered list with the class name um, nav bar ul2 and inside I will have um so I'll have home things to do destinations uh, plan your trip and uh, contact menu so I'll use ally inside I will have a That will be for I'll use hash for now and um, copy I'll have how many of this 
one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, here I'll have home. Things to do. Then I'll have um, destinations. Plan your trip. and contact I'll save preview now because it's not linked anywhere it will not send me anywhere as I click on uh, on the list so let's um That's number one. I'll have uh, another. I'll work on creating sticky um, social bar. I'll have a div with a um, class. Icon bar. Here I will have a will not be linking this to anywhere anywhere for now. And once again, when you go to Fun Awesome, that's where I found the social icons. You can search here, let's say Facebook. And let's say you want to use this one right here. Copy it and um, paste inside of your code. But because I have um, saved the code, I will just use it here to shorten the time of this video. So I have one for Facebook, Twitter, Google, uh, email, and uh, YouTube. I'll save and check. And so you can see here, down here, that the icons are on my page already. So now guys, I want to um, do this part, fixed image, the heading, and I will insert some text and this images right here. Okay, so I have just pasted in the code that I will be using. I'll make some fixed a fixed background image. So in here, I will have um, a section uh, to which I will link my background image. I have a div with the H3, uh, this one right, right here. Feel free to pause and uh, look into the code uh, if you'd like. I'll have another section, plan your trip, um, and then some random text. Plan your trip and then random text. And uh, I have uh, these images, four images. So yeah, feel free to pause if you'd like to use something similar. I will save and preview. 
Of course, nothing is styled yet, so it looks um, ridiculous. So now let's get to um, actually styling the page. So as I've said, I'm using um, as CSS, you can use just CSS as you'd like.
Thank you.